Hello, this is the uh, first in a series of videos in which I'm going to start reviewing day-to-day um, -day stuff you see in the shops. Stuff, sort of stuff you look at and think, I'd like to try that, but I don't know if I want to spend money on it just yet. So here I am, I'm going to review this for you um, and see if it's worth you splashing out your cash for. It's Tanqueray Alcohol-Free Gin. I bought this yesterday. Um, I think I paid about I think it's about 14 pounds, I think it was, in Morrison's yesterday. Um, paid for it myself, obviously. It's not a free trial or anything. And I'll give you an honest review. Now, I do like a gin, um, but obviously it'd be nice to have a nice refreshing drink, especially in the summer, on uh, work nights, midweek. So this would be quite ideal if it works. But I have to be absolutely honest, I'm not setting my expectations too high. Um, I've tried alcohol free beer and I quite enjoy Bex Blue but a lot of the beers are quite sort of malty, quite sugary, quite sweet so you're not expecting this to be like a gin as such but we'll see how it goes. I'll give you an um, honest uh, opinion. I'm going to try it a couple of different ways. I'm going to try it neat. I'm going to try it with tonic water and my particular favourite is a martini so I'm going to try it with a bit of vermouth and see how it measures up. Okay, so let's crack open the bottle. Alright, let's have a look. Right, that's the first tank been opened. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a smell. Well, that's interesting. It actually smells like gin. So it's got some juniper in it, obviously. So I'm quite impressed with the smell of it. And I'm surprised, actually. Because I did buy a uh, alcohol-free spirit a while back, um, threw it straight down the bin. I think it was from Asda actually, one of their own ones. It was really awful, really bitter and acidic. But this actually does smell mm. like gin. So I'm going to pour a little bit into the glass and just see. Okay. You see it in there? Right, honest taste test now. Okay. Okay. Well, it isn't gin, that's for sure. But it tastes quite nice, actually. It doesn't taste chemical. It doesn't taste false. It's got the juniper. It's actually not that bad. It's got, yeah. That isn't bad at all. I mean, it's not gin. Don't get me wrong. There's the ingredients there as well. Um, so it has got a few dimethyl dicarbonate, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate. So there are chemicals in it, so it isn't like, you know, but for a midweek drink on its own, that is not bad at all. It just tastes a bit. Do you know what it tastes like? You know, if you finish your GNT with ice and then your ice melts and you sip it later on, it's like that. So it's got the taste of it, the fragrance of it. It doesn't leave any bitter after taste. That's really interesting. Right, I'm going to pop that in some um, tonic water now. Let's see what that's like. Right, I've got me ice. So, first things first, I put a bit of ice in the martini glass to chill it down. I'm going to pop a little bit in here and a little bit in there. Not a proper martini, obviously. So let's try it with some tonic water. Right, let's try a good old GNT. Obviously the alcohol burn, 
Well, that's to be expected, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. But it ain't bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Very refreshing. So, a little bit of vermouth. This is not a proper way to make a martini. This is the... Uh, Obviously, the martini's got uh, the um, vermouth's got alcohol in it, so it's a bit pointless, really. If you're going to put alcohol for your gin in it, but I just want to give you an idea of the taste. That's not a real way to make a martini, so don't knock me for that. It's just really just for experiments. So I'm going to try this now. Mm, doesn't really work. It's not bad. It's it's just a bit flat, but you know, it's nice. Hmm, actually it's quite nice actually. I'm actually really surprised. I really thought it was going to be awful. I thought it might be a bit sugary or a bit sort of insipid tasting. But actually it's not bad at all. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would actually. It's nice for a sort of midweek. It's a nice refreshing drink in a, in a garden after work. Or if you've got a you know, work the next day. Hmm. I think my favourite is a G&T and neat. The martini not so much, doesn't really work so well, but... That ain't bad. Not bad at all. Very refreshing, very tasty. So there we go, Tanqueray alcohol free gin. You know, you set your expectations accordingly. It hasn't got alcohol in it, if it isn't going to taste like gin, you're not going to have that burn, that lovely sort of, you know, bite that you get. Um, but you are getting the flavour, you certainly get the aroma, and all in all, I would give that probably about 8.5 out of 10. That's really good. Good first uh, experiment. So if you want to see more things like this, keep following, and hopefully over the next few weeks I'm going to sort of show you some more uh, of the drinks I've bought, um, some foods and things that you might want to think about trying, the sort of things that you see in the shops, you think, hmm, I might try trying. Keep watching and um, yeah, enjoy.